Hello everyone, welcome to uh, actually the second part of <laughs> me playing through a game of Race for the Raft. Um, because I'm now playing with the advanced rules. The first game went off without a breeze. It was uh, 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 it was not that difficult. Maybe we were lucky, maybe I'm just that good at games like this. I do like polyomino tiles and, and puzzling with them though. So uh, if you're new to polyomino tiles, don't jump into the advanced rules. This is actually me playing for the first time with the advanced rules. I'm playing the same game as I did previously, so if you don't know how to play the base game yet, maybe you should watch that video first. But let's dive into this one. A couple of things that you should notice. There's a deck of cards here. These are disaster cards. And um, please take note that these are all still prototype uh, versions of the game. The real game might look completely different, but it might look a lot the same. Uh, I'm playing a solo game. That means there is no talk token. There's no meow token because I can talk for myself whenever I want. There is a fire bag. I'm, I'm pretty sure the, ba the bag will have at least a logo of fire on it, but this is the fire bag. Now what's going to be different in this game is um, the cats cannot move that, fi that, that, that far. They can only move up to five spaces away from where they are. So when I move a cat, I can't just make make it all look good and then have them jump into uh, the raft. No, they, they need to move as far as they can, which is up to five. That's going to make a difference for sure. But on top of that, instead of uh, paying for the cats to move with one card if it's the first time they move in a, in a round or two cards if they move a second time in a round. Uh, if I have four of these cards, I do not take another fire tile. No, I take a card from the disaster pile and these cards, they will turn the game upside down. I've never played with them. I actually have never seen what's on them. I know it's bad, but let's see what happens. Uh, the game is still the same as previously. I did, however, remodel the game board because there are more tiles in the box than uh, than you need for one scenario. So I swapped them out, making it look a little bit different. So the puzzle is going to be different from what we did previously. But the assignment is still the same. We have four cats. They are surrounded by fire. They need to get to the raft. And they need to do that by walking on a uh, on terrain of their color so the green cat needs to move make a, i need to make a, a green path for him to go to the green spot here but the purple cat is special he wants to be first so the assignment is to get purple first and then get orange second and then the two green cats which go to opposite sides of the raft here uh last so it, it's going to be a thing <laughs> let's see uh, how well i do Three times during the game, I can remove a fire token. It will cost me points at the end of the game. But hey, if you need them, you need them. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the triangle pile again. These piles um, give you an idea of how big the chance is that you're going to find that color on the card. It's never exact. The only thing it's exact for is having all the cards in the pile. So these are percentages of how much of that color is in the deck. It might not be on the cards. So I'm taking this pile because I need to put uh, purple and orange first. So let's let's just see. One, two, three. I'm playing a solo game. So the first three cards go into my hand and then I have a draw pile of another three cards. So when I play a card, I actually draw an extra one from my hand back to three. And when these cards are done, the round is over and every cat that moved that round will be rested again. So it will stand upright again. So I'm hoping for a lot of purple in these uh, cards. This is good. This is good. Oh, this is looking good. Ooh, this also has green, which might allow me to prepare a little bit for what comes later on. This is this is awesome. Ooh, so... For example, if I put this one here, uh, let me see, how would that be? If I do this, then purple is connected here. That's good. And then I also have a little bit of green for when green comes down later in the game. After placing a tile, I need to... <laughs> 
Oh, maybe I should have. I'm already doubting myself. Maybe I should start closer to the purple cat because I need to move it because it can't move all at once. Let me let me rethink this. I have a card that has a lot of purple on it. So how about how about this? Would this help? Would this help? this would actually help later on with green? So I can see this be useful. But I need to get this one out of here. Uh, okay, I'll play two cards and then I'll have it move. So this is my first card. And now I need to draw a tile from the bag. I'm gonna give it a shuffle. I just put the tiles that I used last round in. And the first tile that comes out is this one. I already know that this is a safe spot to begin the fire. This is good. I draw a new card back to five. There's no purple on this. There's orange here though. So if I place this one here, I have a starting path for for purple. That's good. Draw a new tile. Please don't be too big. Please. This is too big. <laughs> I'll put it here. Fire always needs to go adjacent to where fire already is. And draw a card again. Now I'm going to let purple move. I'm going to pay for this card with this card because because of reasons. Here we go. Purple moves. One, two, three, four, five. Now he's tired. And that means if I want to let him move again, I need to pay two cards in this round, which is something that I might something that I might do. Okay, and I draw up again. So movement was kind of free. I will place this one here, allowing for purple to, to get home at some point. Get a fire tile out of the bag. So this actually opened up some possibilities for me to, uh, to fill that purple home area there. So there, this happened. Um, these cards are awesome. But what should I do? I think I should let the green cat move a little bit. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. With only placing this card, green can, can start moving along. And that also means that there's a lot of area that I can, can burn. What is this huge tile? Uh, hmm. How to use this card tile wisely? I'll, I'll do this. Hopefully I'll be able to fill this in later on. So that happened. And now I'm going to use this card to let green move. One, two, three, four, five. Giving me some more room to burn. This, this might be a good idea. Don't waste too many cards. The round is over. I've got two cards here, two more, and I need to take a dreaded disaster card. These are rested again. I have my path for purple, that's good. Green is on its way and now I need to get this orange one because this one needs to get in uh, a second. So I know that this is a good pile for that. So I'll just go grab it. One, two, three. I'm singling out that pile because normally when you play a game, you will have cats that there is no sequence to who, who gets home first and you can let them all move a little bit. But in this game, I actually know that purple needs to go in first and then uh, orange needs to go in second. So purple's route is done. Yeah, this, this makes the most sense to just take six cards from this pile and continue. What do we have? Now this has no orange at all. So what to do? Now, if I would place it here, 
I would prepare orange for a nice run here and green for a nice run there. Ooh, mm, mm, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll do this. Take a fire tile. The dreaded cross tile, which fits nicely here. Yep, that happened. Next up is... Can I make orange move? I can. This is extra movement though, but we'll, we'll see. And draw a card and then get another fire tile. Um, is there a safe way to place this? I could do this. Okay. Now let's get into movement because them cats needs to start moving. The first one that will move is purple. I will use this card to move purple. This is my third card on the disaster pile. Purple moves five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So that happened. Then I'm drawing a card and now I will first check if this is an awesome card or not. <laughs> if this would have had one more orange, it would have been perfect, but it doesn't. So I will use this card to let orange move. One, two, three, four, five. Disaster time. First time ever I am going to draw a disaster tile. These four cards mean that time for a disaster. Here we go. Let's see what this disaster says. Move one fire tile to a new location. If possible, the tile must not cover any square which was previously covered. If this is not possible, the tile must cover as few squares from its previous location as possible. Okay. Well, this is actually a pretty good card. Move fire. Uh, this could actually help you if you made a mistake. If you're like, oh, this would have been awesome there. So what if I take this one out and I will... No, that's not a that's not a viable option. Uh, this one would work here. Let me see. Am I overlapping any tiles? It was there and is now here. I have done everything that this tile tells me. Ha! It's not all bad. It's actually good. So I've done that. I've moved this one. I've moved this one. I think I should move this one green. One, two, three, four. It's a waste of movement. Can I place a card for green here? I can. So I will do that. I think I should move them all a little bit. Place this one here. Draw a tile from the fire bag. And it's this tile, which fits here very nicely. I've got one, one card left. I will use it on this cat. One, two, three, four, five. It's the first one in this new disaster pile. Okay, let's uh, get some new cards. I'm pretty happy with the way things are looking. I'm, I'm going continuing from this pile. It was a good pile for me before. One, two, three. One, two, three. What do we have? Um, ooh, no greens. That's not good. But I do have a perfect tile for orange here. So I'll place it on the board. And draw a fire tile. Oh, by the way, everyone is rested. Don't forget to do that. There we go. It's a small one, which fits nicely over here. Okay, um, that one is done. So now the rule says um, that I can move cats and now this is interesting. The rules say that you once you get to the finish line with one of the cats, you get an extra movement, which is either uh, draw one one card 
an extra card into your hand or move one cat up to five spaces. So if they already moved, they can actually move again, even if they are exhausted. So my first action is going to be pay one card to let this one move. One, two, three, four, five. I'm saying this because I can see I can move this purple cat in here. But first, I will move orange a little bit so I can get free movement out of it. So this one is now exhausted. Now I will... Oh, this is a lovely card, but I will play that one later. I will pay one card to move purple. One, two, ding, 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 ding. Purple is in and sleeping on the raft. And I'm going to pause for a second. And I am back. Yes. I'm going to play this card, which will... No, I was talking. And, sorry for the short break, I will um, now move this one again. One, two, three, four, five. That's nice. So I didn't have to pay for it because it was the bonus for me getting that one to the raft. I'm going to use that bonus later on with the other cats. So now I'm going to move green some more later on, which is going to be this one. Getting another fire from the bag. Ooh, that's a weird one. Where is this going to go? It will go here. Perfect. And now, is there for me a way to get the green one? I don't know. I think I'll just let them both move. Bad things will happen, but we'll see. <clears throat> First, I'll pay one to move this one. One, two, three, four. I could have moved it five, but there's just no room. So. Moved five times, four cards in the disaster pile. There's a disaster happening. Ladies and gentlemen, discard one card. Oh, I have. One player must discard one card. You may talk as normal while discussing who will discard which card. And then place a fire tile. So discarded a tile, a card, and now I have to place a fire tile. That could have been awful, but actually it was fine. Okay, how about this? Looking good, looking good. Okay, everyone who was asleep is now awake again. And we move into the next round. I need green tiles. Orange is good. Purple's already in. I need green tiles. So let's take from this pile. One, two, three here and one, two, three there. Do I have green? Oh, this is not as good as I hoped. What can we do? So I know when I get orange in, I get extra movement. So I should try to make at least green ready to move in. So I will do that here. And another tile, where can we fit it? Here. Boop. It's interesting. I have not done this in previous games. I have never had them all walk out during the game. I always first make the path and then let them run in. But this gives you way more... Um, well, it, it's, it feels easier. There's no green! What happened to the green? This is terrible! <laughs> I need to get rid of these cards. Ugh! This is really not good. There's not a green thing to be found on these cards. I will pay for movement. On this one. One, two, three, four. And he's tired. Taking a new card. Is there green on it? Yes, there is. Is it helping? No, it's not. <laughs> I will do this then. And draw a new fire tile. Wait, is that the best spot? No, it's not the best spot. This is the best spot. Oh, no, because then I'm blocking that one. Oh. There we go. Here's the tile. Perfect fit here. That's what I like. Green! Yes! This is the card I was waiting for. This will go here. Whoop. Draw a new fire tile. The smallest one in there. 
well together with the ziggity zag. Here we go. So, what happens now? Mm, I have two cards left. Well, the orange is making it in, so I'll, I'll pay for this one. Orange moves here, one, two. And then this one moves one, two, three, four, five, and is close to being in as well. That was my bonus. Then I'll pay one more card to move this one, one, two, three, four, which is good. And we move to the next round. Everyone wakes up, which is awesome. And I'll draw new cards with green on it, please. One, two, three, one, two, three. Come on, how many tiles can you draw without green on it? And will this be enough? Yes, this is enough. Fire tile. We are making it, people. This was easier than I thought. Pay one card. One, two, three, four, five. Get extra movement. Boom. I do want to read what this would have been. All players draw two cards and then place one fire tile. These, these are actually good. These are actually good. I made it. This was really easier than I thought. I might try a really hard level and uh, put some Oshexes on the board next time when I am playing. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dave Luza and you've been watching a playthrough of the advanced rules of Race to the Raft. Bye everyone. Loser for loser, well everybody knows your game.